In this video, I'm going to cover the topic of how to download the Hit Connect app and use the SN code, the serial number code that comes on your IP camera, your NVR or your DVR from Hit Vision or Hi Watch to be able to remotely review and control um, the camera uh, from over the internet, okay? So this is the most important video in the entire range we do because it's, it explains exactly how it works and um, ex exactly what you need to do to get it to work first time, uh, every time, okay? And it's applicable to everything, literally everything. IP cameras, um, kits, NVRs, DVRs, okay? So physically, what have we done here? Well, in preparation for this video, I've done a couple of things. The first thing is, on my phone, I've set up the phone in the settings to work with the local router that I physically have here. And then physically, I've run a cable from the router over to the camera. Now, I would run it, if it was an NVR DVR, I'd run it directly into that device, okay? And what I'm gonna say I'm gonna be using here, and I'm just gonna hold it up in front of this, the fact that every device here comes with a unique SN code. It's a serial number code here. And if you scan this in, the QR code for it, it'll know exactly which camera it is because there's no other camera in the world with the same QR code we've just seen there now. So the very first step in the process now then, once we've done the physical connections, is to come along and we should go into the App Store because I have an iOS phone here. And what we'll do is we'll come along and we'll download the appropriate app, which is the HIK-Connect uh, app. So we'll install it on our phone and then we'll open it up. Okay, so I've opened it, and the very first time you go in there, it'll ask you to choose the country you're in, and do you have an account, and if you don't have an account, to create it. And you create the account either using a telephone number with a new password that you decide, or you can come along and uh, you can use your email address and a password again. So once we're at this point, we're gonna come along, and we're going to add a device. So we're gonna do this simply by hitting the plus button up here, and there's an option here to use a scan QR code. And that's the, the SN code I'm gonna scan here. So that I showed on the phone a few moments ago. And what we do is we just hold this up here now. And already, you can see the display on my phone has changed. And it's giving the, the serial number code. And that serial number code is exactly the code that's written on the side of this PTZ here, okay? so. You know, this video will be used in a range of products, so it, it, it's still entirely applicable though. It, the, the type of camera or NVR, etc., doesn't matter, uh, as long as it's from Hick Vision or High Watch. So I hit connect here, and it's asking me, um, power on uh, to make sure, and I'll say, okay, make sure the camera's get thing and on the network thing. And it's asking for the thing here, and I'm gonna say it's a wired connection here. So it's asking, what's the password so the router and the camera can talk to each other and I say it's okay we have a physical wire running between the two of them so I can just go wired connection here and I'll uh, just go connect here and it's connecting on the thing and um, it's coming along so now it's saying to us okay the device is not activated set a password to a different device so it's specifically saying what's the password for this device and what I'm going to do here is I just have to generate my own password. So I'm going to start it off with D. And then I'm going to come along here. And it has to be at least eight characters long. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I'm going to activate it. So now we have a password. And that's a security measure on it for the device itself. And now we have to set up one to allow it um, over the network as well, another thing. So I'll go into next here, and this has to be thing. So I'm gonna type this in here. I'm gonna give it a, um, for my own thing here, I'm gonna come, and I'm just gonna type in P, because it's effectively a peer-to-peer, -peer where we're going to the cloud and then accessing it, not directly to the camera, the NVR, but rather directly to the, um, uh, to the, the cloud which will have access via the SN code back to the device itself. So I'll type in um, six, um, seven here. So it's P this time I'm using. You can, any password you like, it just makes uh, a little bit meaningful for me, okay? So it's now trying to c connect along. So what it's trying to say is, can I find the camera uh, in this um, procedure here? So once it does, it'll let me know. And it's saying, okay, 
and it's backfilled in here the details of the camera, the alias. Uh, the domain name is the serial number that was on it, so instead of an IP address, it's effectively given a domain name. Um, it's filled in the username thing, and it has the device password that we entered earlier. It's encrypted here to hide it, but it's basically the D1234567 again, okay? And now we just click Finish. And now we see the actual device listed here. So if I click along here, what will happen here is we'll see the camera is down here, it's loading up. The percentage is getting higher and higher. It's getting up towards 100%. So in a moment, we'll have it. I'll just tap it up. So we'll just see the whole camera comes up here. And with the, because this is a PTZ, I can actually give it, I, I use the PTZ for this because I just want to give a little demonstration here. So how I'm actually interacting with it. And I'm turning the PTZ or I'm doing it this way. So we can see we're doing the various different things here, okay? And I can just zoom it back down then as well, okay? And uh, out the window and, whoops. And I've got a cameraman there, I think. A bit more famous than he wanted to be. So we just have that set up there nicely. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do here now is, and I always do this on things like that, to make sure that we're not viewing directly over the local area network, what we can do here is, we can just go into my Wi-Fi settings, turn off the Wi-Fi settings on my phone, Right, sorry, that was less than drilling and how I handled that. Okay, and what it's doing is loading up here and we can see now that the Wi-Fi thing is, and it's just important there because we want to make sure that when we go to a different building that's a thousand miles away from our router, it's still going to work. And I'll just come here and we can see, we can still spin it here, okay? So that's literally it done and dusted. It's incredibly simple. Just to give the logic again in terms of the PTP, what's happening here is what we're saying is in an older system you might have an IP address that'd be allocated to the router. You'd fill all these details into the phone and via that router thing you'd have a port set up and in you go you have a look. Okay with this what we're saying is Hikvision has a unique serial number allocated to this so what it's saying is give me access to allow this uh, IP camera in this case, to go from here directly out to the cloud. And when we're outside, we're looking at the Hikvision cloud. It's saying, and we're saying, we're looking for this device. And the Hikvision cloud is saying, oh, I know where that device is and I have access via the router directly in. And so it just makes the setup so fantastically simple. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to download the Hikvision Connect app and can use the SN codes so we can come along and do it. And um, it's just extremely quick and wonderful process.